Living and learning out on the farm today. This one's gonna be a little bit of a longer video just to kind of show you the effort and progress that's being made. Come on with us here. This is the weed fence using those Virginia pines that we've got on the farm here. Basically, we're clearing an orchard that we're gonna start planting probably next month with some different fruit trees. But as you can see, we're using these now to use a, an old school ancient method, if you will, of weaving, taking what God's providing. And you'll see now, we're gonna continue on up probably about five foot. So this thing's gonna become super sturdy. It's gonna be great for, you know, whatever livestock, sheep, goats, dogs, different things. All this is kind of what's from our previous videos. It was just a jungle. This whole thing was untamed. And uh, without a doubt, we have been uh, taking some effort here and trying to tame the land. We'll continue walking around using fire as our friend i'll be safe with it a propane torch that uh, we got has been a, a great thing uh, a blower electric blower has also been great to shepherd the fire uh, in the direction you want to go because you always want to be careful when you're using fire and make sure it doesn't get out of hand but anyway continue to go using this twist method puts a lot of torque on these poles these poles are not in the ground they actually are surface on the surface but they have so much torque on them uh, they're extremely strong. This farm had cinder blocks, which was a real blessing. We've been using these cinder blocks a lot uh, from areas to hold things up to dry to using them to uh, be the, the torquing mechanism, if you will. What we've been working on here is trying to open this up. We've had a lot of this was just super thick, you could barely walk in it. And basically now we're opening up, we're starting to see new grass grow, and this will be really good if we open up some livestock walk around and you kind of see the the white stones that's kind of marking uh, where the perimeter fence will kind of run in that direction you don't realize you you don't square it off you kind of let God dictate which way the fence goes by figuring out the runs of the fence and so continuing to open this up and make this look really good there's that propane torch we spoke about great tool uh, hooks up to a propane tank like you have underneath your grill and it just is a great way to bring fire to the work area. As you see, continuing to work. This is going to be the gate, the truck gate right here. We're going to be able to chop, clean this up, put a gate in. This will be where we can unload and load animals and livestock. Got the shed here. Obviously, that was project one that was completed. It is strong and sturdy. We got a bunch of pallets that were given to us. We Probably not going to use these for what we originally thought, but these pallets are going to be great for some project. We just got to determine what that project is going to be. But for now, they make a great work area. Continuing to shoot down this line here and look at where this thing's going to go. Come on back here, show you it's going to probably be a little bit of a challenge area this ravine. And we're going to have to kind of work it, but I think it's going to work out just fine. We'll just let the tree line kind of guide us and direct us. And then you can kind of see here, if we pan down and around, you can see this thing's going to be amazing, almost like a fort. It's going to look like some kind of reenactment fort from some kind of colonial thing. So we're living and learning, praising God, loving this project. We're out.